The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video and guys today what we're gonna be doing is releasing some information about the new color rush jerseys that are coming to Madden 17 ultimate team. Uh, this was on the EA sports blog that I got all this information. So basically there are going to be new color rush jerseys coming and obviously we're also going to see some new players coming to the game as well that are, you know, kind of in their color rush jersey for the card art. So that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do here is take a look at the new one that are coming at least the ones that were on the blog we're not sure if this is the entirety of the ones that are coming out or if this is just the first set of them or exactly how that's going to work but this is what has been on the blog so hopefully you guys will get these um, hopefully you'll enjoy them so with that being said let's take a look at these things so up first, we've got my favorite team, but probably my least favorite player in the world right now after what he did in last week's game, and that's Terrence Williams of the Dallas Cowboys, 85 overall wide receiver. I don't know why they chose him, but, you know, it is what it is. Leonard Williams is going to be the guy for the New York Jets, an 88 overall D end. We've got Navarro Bowman, 87 overall middle linebacker for the 49ers. Those are cool jerseys. We've got Trent Williams of the Washington Redskins, a left tackle. And then we've got uh, Kareem Jackson, 85 overall cornerback card for the Texans. Moving on, we have Jarvis Landry, which I actually really like these ones. The Dolphins, 86 overall wide receiver. Gary Barnage of the Browns, 85 overall. Hopefully he picks it up in, from what he did in fantasy last week. C.J. Mosley of the Baltimore Ravens, 86 overall middle linebacker. Then we've got Gerald McCoy, defensive tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 87 overall. And then we've got Kyle Long of the Chicago Bears, 87 overall. And we're going to start to get to some of the higher ones here. Russell Wilson, 88 overall of the Seattle Seahawks, obviously. Those are cool. And then last but not least, the highest overall, Chris Harris Jr., 89 overall of the Denver Broncos. Now, the next thing that you're going to see on your screen here is something that I'm not quite sure exactly how this is working. Maybe one of you guys can even explain it in the comments section below. Seems a little bit convoluted and confusing, which... You know, that's not really that surprising for Mutt this year and last year, too. A lot of the sets were just kind of, like, really weird to complete and really confusing. But uh, you can see here, it looks like there's going to be new challenges every single day of the week. Uh, it looks like the first day, which is Sunday, is going to have 10 of them or, or something. I'm not really sure what the things are at the bottom. Are they players? Are they cards? Like, I, I really don't know what those things are. I'm assuming that the thing in gold are coins. But the rest of the stuff, I'm not really 100% sure. We might also be seeing on that first one a potential color rush jersey that might be non-auctionable, non-auctionable, non-tradable. Um, and then we might also be seeing that or something similar to that on the Thursday. Or that might be one of the players that's unauctionable, untradable. Like I'm assuming that they're not going to let us auction and trade those things if you get them in solos. So I'm not exactly sure how we're going to accomplish those. But uh, basically what you can see here, guys, is that once you do start to see the sets come into the game what you're going to need to create a color rush jersey is what i believe is going to be a new collectible in the game called a blank uniform and then we're going to see some players and collectibles so i think you're going to have to put a bronze a silver and a gold collectible and then two of the individual team collectibles that you want and then you will get in return one of the color rush uniforms so that's kind of cool it doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult or too expensive and then there's also going to be a pretty beastly card that's being added as well. Now, we don't know exactly what the attributes are going to be for this thing, but this Todd Gurley that's coming out looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, it, from based on what they're saying on it, it's going to have a new chemistry that is referred to as the Energizer Ability Chemistry. Now, the Energizer Ability Chemistry, they're going to explain it here in this next screen, and basically what this is, is that it gives you a temporary stamina refill with every successful ball carrier move that you complete. Complete. Now, I'm not exactly sure what successful means. Does it just mean that you don't fall to the ground? Does it mean that you have to engage a defender and get them to react? Or can you actually literally just run down the field and use the truck stick over and over again to rebuild that, that stamina bar? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure exactly how that's going to work. We did see a video of this, but it was really kind of limited in what it showed you. Uh, Mutt Guru put out a video. I think it might have just came from the EA Sports Mutt a Twitter account. Uh, but either way, Mutt Guru was on it, and he did show some highlights of that. So you guys can go check that out on the Twitter account. Uh, but it didn't really show us kind of exactly what it does. It just showed us that, yes, it does actually function um, when you actually do do a juke move or you do do a truck or something like that and you run somebody over. It does refunction 
fill that stamina bar. But again, it doesn't necessarily show us what happens if you try to do one of those moves and nobody reacts to it. Or, you know, like I said, if you're on a breakaway or something and your guy's starting to slow down, can you just start to hit that truck stick or hit the stiff arm or, you know, something like that? And is your guy going to continue then to gain speed? Well, not gain speed, but, you know, not lose speed as he's running down the field. Because as we all know, a lot of times that does happen in this year's game where you get on those breakaways and even with a fast player, you get pulled down from behind because of a lack of stamina. So I think that that could be a pretty damn beastly running back card. Obviously, Todd Gurley is really good to begin with. So I'm expecting that this is going to be a really, really good card. I think what you're going to have to do to actually get the Todd Gurley is basically put uh, one of... I think every single one of the elite players that we saw into a set, and you might actually have to do more than that as well. It's hard to say exactly at this point because they didn't really describe it perfectly on the blog, but I'm assuming it's going to be all of those players and probably an additional uh, you know, collectible or you know, something like that in addition to that. So uh, who knows exactly what it's going to be, but I do think that Todd Gurley is going to be an absolute monster. But I want to hear from you guys. Are you excited for these Color Rush players? Are you excited for the Color Rush promo? I know I personally am. The Dallas Cowboys ones, I think, are the most beautiful jerseys in all of sports. And actually, they're part of the reason that I became a Cowboys fan back in the day when I was younger. Um, not exactly those jerseys, but they were super, super similar to them. Uh, and the ones that they're wearing for the color rush this year and last year are pretty much inspired by those double star jerseys that they wore in like, I think it was the 1994 season. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, quickly do me a favor and drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to share this video so that you can let your friends know about it as well. Thanks again, guys. And I will talk to you guys again soon.